Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift um, coding tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can use a search bar in Swift. And um, using the search bar is pretty easy, but you'll see in like most apps you even go to, if they have sort of any type of table view, they usually have a search bar. So yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do that. Um, what we're going to do is first of all I'm going to add a table view and a search bar in so uh, search bar let me just give that a few constraints so zero, zero, 0 keep the height the same then add the table view in and just zero, zero, 0 add a cell and like setting up the table view is pretty simple so I'm not going to go into much detail about setting it up because um, I've already uh, made a pretty detailed tutorial on how to do this. So yeah, search bar and table view. And yeah, there we go. So now let's just um, create our table view. Actually no, we don't need to do that yet. Uh, we can just create the sort of data. So what we're going to do is, actually wait, I'll just create the table view first since um, it's easier then. So set the delegate and the data source to self extension view controller UI table view oh. delegate. Oh. Okay, let's just conform to the protocol subs. Uh, fix that. I don't know what this problem is. Uh, oh yeah. And let's just get our data which we're going to sort through. So um, for today's data, hmm, uh, I think I'm going to use fruits. Okay. So uh, apples. Uh, what else can I have? Bananas. Uh, oranges. And we can also have uh, pears. Okay, so this is our data, and we also need to create a never another list, and this is going to be our filtered data. Uh, filtered data. Basically, when uh, when you change the text in the search bar, we need to um, filter out. It'll filter out the words which you typed, and then it will give us a new list. And uh, I'm just going to set this as data. Uh, I I don't think this is going to work because. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just do it like filtered data equals a list of strings, and then I'll just set the filtered data to data. Okay, now what we can do is we can just, uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, make that optional. Return uh, filtered data dot count and return data, I mean filtered data oh yeah, this is self or let's say this table view dot dq is yourself or cell uh, index path cell dot text label dot text equals filtered data index path dot row and return cell okay so if I run this now we should just get a table view with these uh, words in. So now we can actually start to work on the search bar. So if we search anything up, nothing happens. And yeah, so what we can do is we can create a new uh, extension. So let's just link up the search bars delegate. So search bar dot delegate equals self and we'll have to create another extension view controller UI search bar delegate and we're going to um, add a uh, function called text did change and basically every time the text changes it's going to um, alert this so if we just print hello and now we can change the text and the text uh, changes 
change it again and it prints so every time text is changed this uh, activates this statement and it also gives us the text so what we're going to do is we're going to reset filter data every time and now we can just loop through this list and um, we can check if the if what we've typed in here matches up to anything in this list so uh, I'm going to use a for statement and I'll just do for word in data if word dot contains um, search text then we want to add it to filtered data and what you also want to do is make both things uppercase because then uh, if you like put caps somewhere and then forget to put it somewhere else then it's the same word but it just won't really uh, work so you see how apples has an uppercase a if we were to put a lowercase oh, why can't I put a lowercase a uh, if we were to put a lowercase a it wouldn't actually work but now that we've uppercase both it will work and then once we've done this we can just uh, reload the table view dot reload okay oh and one more thing um, when the search text is empty like this um, since nothing is there nothing will show up but we want everything to show up so to do that we can just check if the search text is nothing and if it is the filtered data is equal to data so now I'll run this uh, oh there we go so now I'll run this and this should work so if I just type apples uh, there we go and um, oranges uh, bananas pears uh, let me think of another another fruit beginning with um, beginning with a okay I'm just gonna do avocados I don't even know if that's a fruit or not but I just need it to begin with a so that we can see if when we type a both things come up oh I just realized a isn't gonna work because all of these words are a we're gonna have to have a b okay plums yeah, yeah plums so if I just add plums in so if I search up plums uh, yeah there we go see how we when we type p apples comes up because it also has p and then we can go further in and pairs and when we get rid of everything everything shows up then you can just use this as a normal table view so yeah thanks for watching and that was how you use a search bar in swift see you guys in a future tutorial bye